Okay, uh, Sota, that's correct. Yeah. You uh, ended up top 16 with Orchest. Okay, that's, that's interesting. Right. Uh, anything you want to say before you go to the list? Well, I didn't really expect to top with Orchest, but I really, I have a really great Spark matchup and Salomon great matchup. Uh -huh. I was only scared of Shell involved, but I thought that the skill ceiling of the deck is quite high, so I expected not that much in the top cut, but yeah. rather in like top four and top like to the distribution like some let's say like top 32 there's like six of them but like two of them top four so and I dodged most of the show matchups I right. play most the spirals okay guys so I'm great and I had some rogue matchups musketeers and infernoids okay. Okay. so let's yeah the let's see this uh, fury side for one golem this is basically the best number summon of the deck uh, my opponent has Ash, and I have an extender. I usually don't call it by the grade because uh, even I can still end up an IP and uh, crescendo, which I rather play instead of Babel because it plays around uh, evenly matched and lightning storm. But like regularly, they don't have any hand traps, and I open um, extender plus scrap recycler. It's IP. Uh, it's a, a Pelusia yeah. and the Galatea, or either if I'm playing against Combo. I sometimes tend to make the Ingersu because it can protect the Apollosia from destruction but game one I use I always send crescendo so I don't lose the control decks that much. Okay. But it's mostly a grind deck so this is a pretty good normal summon. And then the Armageddon Grapha and the Alata pretty standard. Triple Nightmare, double word one, two skeletons and two bombards. So I think which the double bombard is pretty interesting. Because I've never thought I would play two, but during testing, it sometimes has been better than Simple Skeleton. Because this is more of a brick. Because if I open these two, it's combo because of Link or Evil. However, if I open Skeleton plus an Opus, it's never a combo. But I need it because it's very high impact and because it's a grind deck. So this is not a combo deck anymore, it's rather a grind deck. And I need it for grinding because like the Dingir's so skeleton loop is still pretty strong. And yeah, I cheese the win against Thunder Dragons in top of yeah, I played Thunder Dragons. Where I just ended on Babel because uh, and I had all the interruption for Titan. Mm -hmm. And then I prank back and I Nibiru'd him and on the Titan I summoned Dingirsu and uh, sent it. Yeah. Okay. No, and the uh, Gizmac. Right. Send it. And then I play the Triple Souls and the Apprentice Magician. So this deck needs some extenders. And I rather play Souls in uh, Dangerous. Because with Souls, I'm allowed to play more bricks of the focus cards. Because I maxed out of the Double Crescendo and the Triple Return. Because right. technically, if I draw Return and I don't open the focus, I can still discard it with Souls. And with Danger Effect, I can discard hand traps or normal summons before that and I don't really keen on that and also if I open like this three which has happened before I only normal summon the souls to send the crescendo and I search a nightmare and return it and that's at that, the uh, crescendo pass which is it sounds really bad on paper but crescendo pass is actually pretty strong because crescendo gives you resources and it's a strong negation okay cool yeah, and uh, because it's a grind deck, I played like triple Nibiru, triple Ash, and uh, triple Diddy Crow. So I decided to play Diddy Crow because I expect a lot of Salaman Greats and Moonlight. It can also be pretty great against Ocus if I open another hand trap because then they can't make a pollution on time. And uh, I just wanted the high impact card, and it has really, and it has the Babel interaction, which lets me keep it in hand. Right. And like. Yeah, it's just good for the mud deck is called, which has one UDS, the, the Dragon, Dragon Link deck, yeah. yeah, yeah. And this is just an alert target as well, Graffer target, yeah. I actually played versus uh, Spirals, game one, I, I went first, I bricked with three hand traps, Golem and the Skeleton. Yeah. I stopped the combo, I top deck Foolish and destroyed him. Right. Then triple alert. The deck is not that consistent, so I need some draw power and then triple bolt by the grave for hand traps, obviously, and it's just pretty good about the spirals, managing the master plan. 
which has happened against Extra Regans when second Spyro's in top 64, and then the Full Edge, which is one of the best cards in the deck. Okay. Um, Would you make any changes to the main deck? Right now? Maybe... I'm not sure yet. <laughs> right. Yeah, well, it's, okay. yeah. it's 43 cards, because uh -huh. the deck plays quite a lot of bricks, and I don't want to draw them that much. But I thought that I have to play all the cards I've played. Maybe I would cut the Nibiru. It has chased me a lot of wins actually, but I still think that it relies on my opponent's deck and on how he plays. Mm -hmm. And which is not that good against top top players. Yeah. Yeah, that's why probably I started at 7 0, uh -huh. and then I lost 3. Right. But because of my good tiebreakers, I was the uh, 54th. Yeah. Okay. And for extra deck, triple Galatea, one long gear suit, two long gear suit. It's standard, I think. And then one Opelousia for the scrap combo. One IP. I uh, usually, if I open well, I can make IP crescendo, which I played against Salaman Great. It's an ancient win because you can just unicorn the normal summon and negate the wheel with the crescendo. Link variable for the Bombard. And it's also an out to uh, uh, border. I've been bothered and I just searched Bombard with Crescendo, Normal Summon Link Rebel and the Special Summon Gizmo. Wyvern, this one to unbreak my hand, this one, this one, and then two of the Topologics. I actually chose not to play Worse or Dragon because this deck doesn't uh, swarm the field as much as it used to. And like, this is also a Link 4. And most of the times, I can OTK with it because my Banish Pie will be so big. Because, like, I play against Autogeist and I just loop the Gizmax and then I attack by 6 to 86. And it has happened against Pyros too. So I either grind out or I, I sometimes cheese wins yeah. with the Bombard. I don't think uh, Worse Wood is needed. Okay. Okay, one Panker. I think one of the best win second cards. Triple Draw, Spyros, Spyros. Double mind control. It's just I think it's one of the best cards with combo is Silver's Brew. <laughs> I saw it in with uh, Thunder Dragons. Triple twin, triple lightning storms. I just need some macro hate. And then I have the triple Didi Crew and the triple Nibiru that versus the um, control decks. And I just side this seven win second. And take out the friendly beer free crow and one other because I have less loot targets. Right. And then triple judgment for going first. Where's this candy deck? Mm -hmm. I really wanted to play anti spell fragrance because I yeah. think it's a really high impact card. But this is just great with Archer guys too. So I couldn't find space. Yeah, that's that. Okay. Any last words? Any shout outs? Yeah, I'd like to shout out the whole Hungarian Yu Gi Oh community. Mm -hmm. They have been waiting for my response in the group chat, then the group, and they were so enthusiastic about me topping. I'm really glad that I have such friends, and like also I won two matches with Lightning Storm, which has been lent to me by Joja Christie and my friend. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I just want to thank every single one of you watching me from home. Okay, cool. Thanks for the list. Congrats. Thank you for having me.